my name is Kayla Pope and I'm a librarian at the North Point branch of the Baltimore County Public Library. And today we're going to be working on making our own shaky instrument at home. So you can make so many different kinds of things with just thing with just materials you find at home. You can use all different kinds of containers um, and really all you need uh, to make a very simple one like a maraca would be a paper towel or a toilet paper roll, some uh, sheets of paper, which I took from an old grocery bag, just to cover the outside. Maybe uh, some tape. You can also use saran wrap on the edges of these and uh, use rubber bands as well if you have them on hand. But for today, I'm gonna try to tape mine down. And then all you need is your filler. So you can use the same kinds of filler for any different number of instruments that you make. I'm gonna use uh, these dried black beans that I have uh, sitting in my cupboard. You definitely wanna make sure that you stick with only dried beans or rice, and you can mix anything you find. So you can use large and small size beans um, and, dry, and any number of type of rice um, that you would like. What I think is kind of fun about this project is after you construct one, if you have other materials on hand, like maybe different ty types of tubes, like I have this um, harder tube that contained um, canvas at one time, you could use something like this and experiment with different sounds and different materials and see what you come up with if you add more beans or more rice to one thing or um, how does it make a different sound in a different shape of a tube. So for making your very own to start a simple maraca or just like a hand shaker, you can um, take your toilet paper roll and we're going to grab our paper here. And I already had some tape ready to go. So I'm using some masking tape here just to tape down the edge of mine. You might have to kind of wrap it all the way around and that's okay. So even if you add more tape on than you thought you were going to, that's totally fine. Mine's not gonna look super duper pretty. Um, if you have like really cool, um, colorful duct tape at home, that might be a good solution for um, making it look kind of cool. Cause you can actually just take this entire toilet paper roll and cover it in duct tape. So um, options are you can do that you could paint the toilet paper roll to start with and um, make it look like real wood or make it bright and colorful. You can add sequins to it. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. So as you can see, I just surrounded the tape uh, and, and enclosed my paper at the top. And since I've got one side good to go, I'm gonna go ahead and add my beans And this is where you can kind of experiment. So you could try what it sounds like if you don't put a lot of beans in it. You can try what it sounds like if you put um, a good amount in there. It kind of makes it a little bit like a science experiment with sound. So you can kind of hear, got a good amount in there. And I'm gonna get my second piece that's gonna go over the top, ready to go. So just a piece of paper, like I said, from a grocery bag. And I'll show you after I tape it down here. I think I'm going to need a couple more pieces of tape. Just to really secure it. So, like I said, I'm just taping it down and that's to make sure nothing spills out. And you do want to make sure this is nice and secure, um, especially if you have little ones at home, because you don't want to have an instrument that's got, you know, all these tiny little pieces that might get out if they're not properly contained here. Okay. So this is my, oops, I'm going to need one more piece of tape. My two minute shaker. Let's see. I'm gonna really make sure I seal this up. Again, mine's not super, super pretty, but 
you can make that part of the project to turn it into more of like a very artsy looking instrument. So I've got everything enclosed. Let's give it a shake and see what it sounds like. So it definitely does what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna show you one other example if you have something similar at home or um, you're able, you could even use like a, a paper towel holder. This is a lot bigger and it actually is really, um, really hard on the outside. Like you can kind of hear, um, it doesn't have as much give as the more like paper thin ones do. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take some of my black beans and put them inside and I'll show you the difference. You kind of already hear it as it goes in. Okay, so this might be something you could use to make more of like a, uh, like a rain stick instrument, but you can kind of hear. It has a very different sound, even if you do it faster. Um, it's, the black beans are hitting that harder outside and it makes a kind of a louder noise. So you can kind of hear the difference. So those are just two examples of what you can use uh, with things at home. Like I said, you can add um, you can add sequins to the outside of these. You can color them. You can add fun paper. You can use colorful duct tape. You can also tie um, like strings or like braid things off of them um, and just decorate them in any way you want. But it's a fun way to make a nice little instrument at home. Um, Again, just be careful with the little parts that you're putting inside and just make sure you seal it up. But other than that, um, thank you for joining us today. And for more programs and, uh, and other information, you can visit our website, uh, bcpl.info, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.